got lost tonight Under the stars up in the sky Directions hard to find Under the stars up in the sky I got lost tonight Under the stars up in the sky Directions hard to find Under the stars up in the sky I don't know where to take this I don't want to break this We're living in the moment We're living in the moment Your head is on my shoulder But we're getting older Baby, it's you and I So, I want to start by saying welcome back, welcome to the channel, hope you're enjoying the content and stuff are just happening. So, in today's episode, what we're going to do is, we're going to do some putting up, there's no seeding, so don't cry, there's no seeding, do some putting up, I've got, oh, I've moved the potatoes out of the greenhouse, out here because they're getting way too big in there, and you've got to plant some potato slips out, so let's get into the video. been about what i think it's been two i think it's been two weeks two and a half weeks since i showed you those details last you want to see them size is ridiculous can you see them as you see they're really big like i can't they're starting to fall over and this is probably the smallest one but as you can see they need to go outside they're way too big for in here so what we're going to do first thing we'll get these all put out put them around the garden somewhere find a spot for them and after that, we'll get into planting out some sweet potato slips. And so, you can see, they're ready to go out. So let's first get these out, and get into the next thing. All right. Ooh. Spot number one. I'm going to move this out of the way. This will go back inside. I'm really sure I'm just going to put them around, around the benches. Should be fine. we put one here. Might have to add some stakes to these after because they're starting to fall over, but it'll be alright. I'll do that after. That's the first one. Spot number two. Oh, right there. Spot number three. I have to definitely stake these. The wind is going to blow the hell out of these. Yeah, we we'll sort that out. So this is spot number four. But this might change. This might be subject to change. Because I don't know if this is going to interrupt with me getting in and out of the greenhouse. So we'll see. Now, got to find two more spots. One thing we do have, we have these gaps of these big rocks in between each berry patch. I might actually remove the rocks, one rock here and there's one rock there, and put the potatoes in between there. Yeah, let's do that. We've got that all done now. So now we're going to move on to the potato slips. The well, first thing we need to do is we need to put some fresh compost in here, some potting ash. I found I'm going to use up the rest of that B&Q. Um, compost because I really said I'm not really a fan of it, so I'm going to use that in here. And this is actually the stuff I'm preferring that I prefer to the B and Q one, it's way better. So we're going to use that one instead. So first of all, let me. The way I like to do this is I like to dump on compost first, and I'll sprinkle uh, sprinkle the potash and some um, fish blood and bone on top, and then I'll sprinkle another layer of compost on top. So let's get into that. Just for um, information, so this half is going to be sweet potato and this is going to be chilies because last year this side seems to be like seemed to do way better in here than outside when it came to chilies. So I want to do some scotch bonnets, some habaneros, um, jalapenos and some red cherry peppers all on this side and then all this side will be sweet potato. So yeah. I 
So again, make sure you save these bags. Because even if you're making grow boxes and you want to bag a box, they work perfectly. quite a bit there's three there's two bottles for one in one cup i'm gonna start with this one because this is the oldest one so we do that one so the way i plant these out finger and thumb that's the way i do it that's the way i pretty much do most of my um starting out so yeah cool all right let's stay in there so yeah but as you can see they've only been in water for a, not too long and look looking all right so oh, yeah, that one. That one. Hmm. But yeah, as you see, so all you do is very simple: dig a hole and get to point about that much. You want to get at least that much in the thing. So literally dig down, place it in, fill the hole back in, and that's literally it. And these sweet potatoes will literally do the rest for you. What you can do, another thing is, is if you want, just put, just lay it down. Right next to it so you can get your spacing correct just like that and i'm only plotting them close together because i've got quite a bit and there's a lot of there's a lot of nutrients in this soil in this compost mix and soil so should be fine as you see they're all done pretty well yeah like that. lovely one there one there and don't waste this water use this water to water in the sweet potatoes Yeah. only reason i'm doing it like this is because I've, i might do a little bit more of a spacing but um the reason why i'm not trying to fill out this whole thing is because i've still got some more going so i at least leave a bit of extra room for some later ones i don't know if all of these ones are ready yet oh here they are that's fine Might not be that much. Mm, that one can wait a bit. So yeah, like that. What I do? Get it down. Just like that. Just like that. What you want to do is get the water. Water in them. Let's get some more water. A little extra. That was done. Let's give that a little One thing I can say as well, around your um your sweet potatoes, make like an indent towards the middle. So anytime you water, the water funnels down to the middle. Little tip. But yeah, let's move on now. So the hack is going to tell you that about all you need is a watering can, a old spoon, and some zip ties. Yeah, so all you want to do, I'm going to do this one handed. Oh, put the spoon, but bend it upright a bit towards the end. So I'll put this in first. 
off it, it'll fit. Oh, there we are. And then put the spoon right up towards the end of the um, watering can, like so. Do it like that. And you just want to zip tight as tight as possible. Let me open this. Oh, let me open this out a bit more. If you've got a patch like my one, this helps out pretty much. It's really good. All right, just like so. You want to put the other zip tie down the back and put it there just to hold it in place. <coughs> like so. And when you do it like this, tighten like this. 